18-month-old Zachary is a happy baby, but he's also in stage 4 renal failure. He has a chronic health condition and needs a new kidney. And the only thing that's really keeping him healthy enough is dialysis. And Nobody wants to live on a machine. Right now, Zachary gets dialysis treatments at home in Moncton. He spent much of his life in hospitals, including a six-month stay at the IWK in Halifax. His mom says he's near the top of the transplant list. If we get a call that there is a kidney available for him, we can move forward with that. And if that doesn't work out, then it's just a waiting game. But Ashley Barnaby wants to do more than wait. She wants to donate a kidney. After a litany of tests, she's been denied the chance to give her son a life-saving donation. She's healthy right now, but because of her history with high blood pressure and gestational diabetes during pregnancy, doctors say the risks are too high. I would accept those gladly if it meant that Zachary would have a normal, healthy life. If his mom had been allowed to donate, Zachary's transplant could have taken place at the IWK as early as February. Now the family is facing weeks or even months of waiting. Marie Chantal Fortin is a transplant ethicist in Montreal. She says transplant teams have to consider the risks and benefits for live donors, both medically and emotionally. The objective of the living organ donation team is not to cause harm now or in the future for the potential living organ donor. But Ashley says donors should be able to weigh the risks themselves. As a donor, as a mom, as a, an individual, I should have the opportunity to, to voice my concerns. For now, Zachary's case has been referred to a panel of kidney specialists. Hopefully they, uh, they see my, my need for it right now because Zachary is only 18 months old. Ashley just wants to see her son grow up healthy and live a normal life. Sarah Ritchie, CTV News, Halifax.